very glad today, I'm very excited today to have the opportunity to come talk about our low, low, current, low voice current, low IQ for power management and also introduce to you about four new products that we are releasing uh, recently or in the future. So uh, personally, I've been TI for 10 years. Most of my time is spent with uh, battery management solutions with experience in the battery fuel gauge and also the battery chargers. So one of the product is coming from my product line today. And my major responsibility is for uh, business relationship, also research and development, technical development and product definition. Uh, feel free to ask your questions uh, during today's uh, uh, release uh, briefing and uh, I'll try to do my best to answer. So one of the trends we see in the industry is with more connected device, actually um, it requires a lot more power. As the device gets smarter, it requires more power. Usually when we think when it requires more power, it needs a bigger battery. Uh, actually, uh, one of the trends we see that in order to lower the power, one of the best ways is to develop technology in low quiescent current, low IQ solutions, so that we enable some of these low IQ uh, IoT device. Part of this problem, uh, when we put this mobile device in our hand, we have two expectations. We want the battery to run longer for every time we charge. Also, we want to be able to charge less. For example, instead of everyday charging, with some of these devices we introduced today, it might enable that every 10 days, you, you only need every 10 days to charge this device, so that you spend less time charging and more time enjoying um, the, the systems you have in your hand with low IQ. Therefore, uh, low IQ actually play a critical role in the battery uh, life. As we, if we can charge the battery less often, actually, uh, for example, a battery usually have a 500 charging cycle. So if we can charge the battery less often, we actually can enable this battery to use for a longer time. Uh, for example, if we charge it every day, and the battery can use for 500 times, now if we charge every other day, actually we enable the battery to be used for a thousand days, right? So it's uh, two times more in this particular example. In some cases, when we can have low IQ, the battery actually can get smaller, which by physics or chemistry, we can use a lower cost battery. So we enable the lower system cost solutions. In most of the, some of the extreme cases where you used to have a rechargeable battery, if we have such a low IQ that we might be able to enable some application which you never have to charge the battery. Uh, those are even lower cost solutions which we'll have some example later today to talk about how we enable those solutions. So here's a quick summary of two factors that drive the low IQ. Uh, just try to quick repeat here. First one, in a battery power system with a low IQ or low standby power, we can preserve the battery runtime and also uh, make the battery uh, charge less frequently, so preserve the battery life cycle. That creates a better experience for the users. That's a use case number one. In a second application case, where maybe we don't even need a rechargeable battery, we just need a double A battery. The low IQ enables us to change the double A battery less often. So for example, uh, in some cases, you might need to change the AA battery every two years. If we have a low IQ, you might be able to change the battery every five years or 10 years. In those cases, you actually, we actually enable um, the battery to be just at the same surface lifetime of that equipment. So during that lifetime of that equipment, you never need to change the battery, never need to replace the AA battery anymore because the current is so low, you won't even need to change the battery. So before we talk about specifically um, those four products today, I would like to uh, give a kind of quick overview of the TI's broad portfolio of power management solutions. So first of all, of course, uh, we have the very uh, fundamental, uh, essential linear power, which focus on uh, linear regulator or LDO solutions. The second one is uh, very commonly used uh, when you need high efficiency, we have the step down bulk converter, DC-DC solutions. Also, sometimes you want to step up the, battery, uh, the, the power, the voltage. You need a 
a boost DCDC or step up DCDC solutions or even in some cases in high power we want uh, to provide the multi-channel, multi-phase DCDC solution for high power. Yeah. Of course, sometimes you want to cut off the power, so you need a power switch. So we also have a team of designers working on providing power switch solutions and interface solutions for our customers. We also have a team of talented engineers that provide high power, high voltage power, which uh, uh, deal with the AC-DC conversion or electric vehicle charging solutions for those high power GAN, uh, particular GAN and silicon carbide solutions in the high power, high voltage power team. Finally, it's my own product line. Uh, we have a particular team that deal with battery, uh, either battery monitoring, charging, or measuring uh, solution for battery management. Everything deal with the battery, um, my team work on it. So today, we're going to uh, talk about all four solutions together. Uh, and you ask why four at the same time? Because in TI, we believe in low IQ is not just one device achieving low IQ. It's a multiple device because a low IQ system requires multiple devices. It's always the weakest link that doesn't that make the system not work. In order to enable a low IQ system, we have to have multiple low IQ product from different product categories. DC DC. LDL, supervisor, charger, that work together to enable a low IQ ecosystem. Not a single product can achieve a low IQ system. We actually need multiple, multiple. It need to be a, have a, a team of device to work on. So first device to introduce is TPS7802. It's just announced recently. It's a linear regulator, LDL. The device has a key feature, of course, what we talk about today is a low IQ. It has the leading edge 25 nano amp of uh, low IQ current. In addition, being an LGO, having low IQ is not the only function. Uh, it also is very challenging, uh, in addition, to build a low IQ with a fast transient response. An LGO will not be very good when it doesn't respond fast to a transient. And I'm going to share some of the performance data with you uh, later. Let's take a quick look at what this device looks like. Just looking at last year, our lowest IQ is one microamp. This new device can achieve 40 times better IQ without compromising on the transient performance at 25 nanoamp. Not only the IQ is very lower, we managed to make it lower, we actually managed to make it smaller by 70%, uh, reducing the solution size by 70%. In this particular case, the solution, the chip itself, is going down from 1 millimeter square to about 0.65 by 0.65 millimeter square. So, with a low IQ, it actually, like I said, it enables a very long run time with 25 nanoamp actually to give a impression how low is that 25 nanoamp in some of these uh, one-time used battery such as a double A or lithium magnesium oxide battery the 25 nanoamp actually is lower than the uh, self discharging current of the battery meaning the battery itself chemically will leak more than 25 nanoamps so the designer using this type of LDO does not even have to worry about the leakage budget for this device because they have to worry more about the battery itself for that discharge current. Like I said, the solution size total is reduced by 70%. In addition, uh, the LDO transient response is very important. In uh, one of particular case we had in here, when the LDO responds for 50 milliamp loading, it can respond to a 50 milliamp loading change within less than 5 microseconds, which is half of time of what it, the previous generation can perform. So not only is low current, it can wake up very fast to respond to any system loading very quickly. All the device, of course, I talk about today can be downloaded, the data sheet from TI.com. So you're welcome to uh, download those. So let's talk about, with the low IQ, what kind of applications this type of uh, LDO can enable. 
Uh, first of all, I want to spend a little bit of time to talk about the grid infrastructure. There's a trend in the grid infrastructure having a lot of uh, e-meters or water meters, gas meters. Uh, surprisingly, actually a lot of these meters have a one-time use battery in it to able to record the data and transmit the data. One of the key challenges for this e-meter is uh, the utility company need to send a person to go change the battery uh, every couple of years and it's very costly. Imagine we have a very low IQ device sitting there that enable that battery to use for longer time instead of using for two to three years or five years the low IQ enable this meter to be used for 10 years which basically is the lifetime of that life, uh, life usage lifetime of that e-meter so within the lifetime of meter you, can, you don't actually have to send someone to change the battery with this type of low IQ device anymore so it's a lot of uh, manual and cost saving to change that battery by not having to change it the other application for LDO is uh, building automation. For example, some of these uh, thermometer uh, thermostat measurement. Most of the time, the thermostat is uh, in a standby mode, and it only operates for a very few time to come and wake up and turn on and turn off the AC uh, machine. So low IQ enable this kind of building automation don't have to recharge the battery similarly. Another trend we see is the medical equipment are going more mobile, uh, just like our smartphone. A lot of these uh, mobile equipment, they start enabling, uh, putting a rechargeable battery in it. In this example, we have a glucose meter, a blood glucose meter that is portable with a battery. With a low IQ, actually we can enable the charging frequency of these glucose meter to be less frequent. Enable these medical equipment to be used for a longer lifetime because uh, the, the number of charging on the battery is less, so the, life, uh, the expectancy of the meters can be used for a longer period of time for the medical equipment. Finally, for some of these personal electronics, portable electronics that will always require battery, the lower the current, the smaller battery can be. So it's always going to be beneficial when you're using this kind of low IQ in a wearable device like an activity tracker or smartwatch. So thank you very much for your time today, and uh, I'll open up the floor for uh, questions.